Thank you for volunteering in this demonstration of imagination therapy. My pleasure. We will start with an especially useful form of imagination therapy, which I call choice imagination. What do you mean by that? As I understand from what you have told me before, you find it nearly impossible to choose between two choice options. Both seem to be very life-changing. So it is really important to choose the right one. But now you are feeling stuck in the middle, doing neither the one option nor the other. Yes, that is my main problem, right now. It would be very helpful to be able to make a decision, having the guts to choose wisely. Sure, but you want to be certain that your choice is the good one. Indeed, but I don't know which one I should act upon. Well, because you cannot look into the future. There will never be a possibility to know which choice will work out as the best. No, I cannot know that, and that means I'm really stuck. Now, this form of imagination can be used to make a choice, not based on future knowledge, but on the felt values that those two options represent for you. My felt values? What kind of values do you mean by that? Not what you should be doing according to some external norms or those of the people around you. But what would be best if it's really up to you? Sure, that would be good to know. Okay, so please close your eyes. And I want you to imagine yourself standing in a room with two doors. One for each choice option. I see an old door, made of thick wooden planks. Kind of raw material. This is the door belonging to my first option. And the other door? That's a modern door, one that you can buy in any building materials store. A slick texture. Kind of plastic sheet as a surface. Which door is the first one for you to try out? The old one, the first door, I suppose. So, write a word. Characteristic for the first option onto this door. How do you feel, standing in front of this old wooden door? I feel quite nervous and also a bit curious. Now, whenever you are ready, I want you to open the door and make a step over the threshold. And only after this step, I want you to explore the world which exists and forms itself on the other side. All right, I'll go in. It is important that this exploration is authentic. So it is not about what you expect or should see or hear, but about what you actually experience and become aware of in this imaginary scene. I understand what you're saying. Not easy at all. 